Winding down the final days of absentee voting, and the voting pace showing no signs of slowing. In Rankin County, they've set up a satellite operation to try to handle that increased volume. The Brandon Library now serving as a secondary hub for absentee voting. At my age and uh, coronavirus. Most voters here admit they like getting their vote in early. Well, the health issues for one thing, but uh, not being able to be around crowds, we prefer to go ahead and vote early. Is it comfortable? Do you like it better this way? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, I'm a, bi like I said, a biology teacher, so I know I've grown those germs and how easy it is to just get sick. For the county clerk's office, the satellite location was born out of necessity. They have been voting more than 500 absentee votes each day since it started at both their main office and library location. We never reached a 500 day until the Saturday before the election. Michelle Adcox says the voting numbers for absentee are nearly double of what they were in 2016. That and health concerns for the pandemic prompted the secondary absentee voting site at this Brandon library. You know, we have COVID going on, so we have all these um, precautions that we're taking, and we don't want a whole lot of people in our precinct. So we thought that if we spread out the voting, that, that it would be better for our constituents. The deadline for in-person absentee voting is October 31st. If you're mailing in your absentee ballot, it has to be postmarked by Election Day and received within five business days. In Brandon, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.